Hello. So I've been doing some thinking recently, because this channel is, is very, very new, about what kind of material I want to present on the channel, or what kind of my brand might be. Oh, that feels horrible to say. But, you know, what is it that I do? Is it highbrow? Lowbrow? Is it weird, bizarro fiction? What's the kind of thing I'm homing in on? And I thought to myself, mm, I don't really care. I'm just going to review whatever I've read, uh, be it highbrow or lowbrow. So I decided that today I'm going to talk a little bit about what was my works book club book. Um, it's not something I would normally go to, although I do like a good thriller. So today I'm going to be talking about Verity by Colleen Hoover. Verity is your typical popcorn thriller type of novel. It's only about 300 pages long. It is designed and made to be a page turner. In the essence, when I read books like this, I get the feeling that the author is more concerned with us turning the page than they are with anything else. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's playing to what audiences want or what some audiences need. There are times when I do enjoy a good page turner. I can just switch my brain off and go. The same with movies, TV, sometimes I fancy watching maybe an episode of Succession, and other times I might just stick on Community. It's that kind of thing. Verity is about three characters. We have Lowen, who is a grieving writer who is in major need of a paycheck if she is going to make rent, or just to be able to live in general. <laughs> we have Jeremy, who has suffered vast tragedies in his past, and he needs to employ Verity to finish his wife's book saga, which is one of what I assume one of the most popular book sagas in the country. There is a lot of money on the line. Lowen needs to go to Jeremy's house in order to look through all her materials in order to create outlines and possibly finish the last two books in the series. In the process of doing so, she finds a manuscript for an autobiography written by Verity. And that is when the story really starts to get cooking because the uh, manuscript, the autobiography, reveals many, many twisty, turny, troubling things about Jeremy and Verity's past. And it brings into question what Lowen is doing in that house, whether she should get out quickly or whether she should stay there and see this thing through. And that's it, really. To give anything else away would be spoiling this book. Um, and I don't really want to spoil it for anyone who might want to read it. Uh, so I'm just going to dive right into kind of my thoughts and feelings. So I think that uh, the author does a very good job, was it Colleen Hoover, does a very good job of keeping you going, of keeping you invested, of keeping you turning the page. And as I said earlier on, you know, I feel like she's put more emphasis on making sure this is something that you want to turn the page, you want to see what happens next, as opposed to really, really diving into the depths of a character. Now... There was a TV show which I found very frustrating called, um, is it 13 Reasons Why? And I got the same thing with this book. In 13 Reasons Why, uh, a young boy is given a, a, a load of cassette tapes which sort of reveal parts of the character's past and history, her thoughts and feelings. Um, but for some reason, he decides to take weeks to listen to all these tapes, when in essence it would really take him... I don't know, an afternoon? like, And and seeing as each tape is kind of like really crucial for him figuring things out, I could not for the life of me understand why he was taking so long to listen to these tapes. It made no sense to me whatsoever. No matter what they tried to throw in there that it was affecting him, he, he wasn't feeling right, I didn't buy it. I have the exact same thing with this book. I just don't buy it. She, she has this manuscript, and this is only a 300 page book, so she has this manuscript and she takes so long to finish it. So long to read it. And it takes us to read her. I don't know, I reckon the manuscript is probably about 50 to 70 pages long. If, if not less than that in this entire book. I reckon maybe even less than that. I feel like she could have read it in an hour. Do you know what I mean? It makes no sense. She could have read the full autobiography in an hour and that would have sped things up. That would have changed the entire narrative of what was taking place. So it made no sense. If Colleen Hoover had been a bit braver and made this, say, a 600 page book, and that this autobiography goes into rich details about her upbringing, her life, what made her be the way that she is, you know, her parentage, 
things like that. If we had got this rich, detailed history, I think I would have loved, you know, <clears throat> really, really enjoyed it because it would have given given me more idea of why Verity acts the way she does, maybe. Now, you will reveal later on that there might be a reason for her of not doing that. And, and I can get on board with that because that is the twist, which kind of reveals certain different types of things. I won't give that twist away. But at the same time, there needed to be a kind of a little bit more, a little bit more meat on the bones with this one. I think what I'm trying to say in a really rambly way is I needed some justification for why this manuscript was taking so long for her to read. And my only way to kind of justify that would be if we, the reader, were equally taking as much time to read it. If the chapters in this manuscript weren't so small and that it was, you know, a a hundred pages had gone past of reading this manuscript, then I might be able to justify and I might be able to get on board with why she hasn't just finished it in an hour or a couple of hours. Um, but that's not the case. And because everything holds or, you know, stands on her reading this manuscript, it left me constantly going, really? The writing style is fairly pedestrian, very easy to read. Um, you know, you can kind of flow through it. It's, it's quite, yeah. As I said, it's quite pedestrian. It's easy peasy to sort of read. And um, the character development is enough. There's three characters in it and you get a good enough sense. You get a good enough sense for their motivations and why they might be feeling the way they are. I was really intrigued by Loan and her relationship with her mother and I would have liked more details on that. I would have liked a few more details about Verity's upbringing that caused her to be the way that she is. I would have liked a few more details about Jeremy and his upbringing. Yet again, I think I just enjoy a more meatier book, a book that gives me a little bit more of a richer, well-rounded character to cling on to, just so I can then care and make kind of, for the little minute decisions they might be making, be able to, in my own head, surmise where those desires are driving from. Um, at the moment, it's kind of just sort of like you're just being told it. And there's a twist at the end, which I've mentioned a million times. Um, how did I feel about the twist? Yeah, you know. <laughs> It's all right. Um, I, 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 the reason my work book club picked this was because there had been a lot of hype about it like a few years ago or whenever it came out. Yeah, we were equally left like, that was all right. I don't know why everyone was going so crazy about it. It's, it's all right. <laughs> and that's kind of my feeling on this. It does exactly what it says on the tin. You know, you're going into this because it is a popcorn thriller, a summer read, something that you don't have to concentrate too hard on and it's going to make you want to turn the page and it's going to make you go oh my god i wonder what's going to happen next next oh my god i wonder i wonder what she's going to do what she how you know it's that kind of thing and i think colin hoover does a, a really good job at getting you in that state of mind uh, there is an absolute place for this kind of fiction i'm not a snob this exists and i think it's good that it exists because some people just don't have the bloody time do they <laughs> Some people can't go, I know what, I'm going to, you know, sink my teeth into a 1200 page Haruki Murakami novel, which I'm doing at the moment. So, so yeah. But anyway, so my final review, if I was to give it a star rating, I don't know, two stars. Uh, I, I want something a little bit more, a little bit richer. Um, I think, what is it, Gone Girl, I think, gave me just a little, was, was just a little bit richer in what it was doing compared to this. Um, I felt like when I read Gone Girl, which I would compare this to, it gave me a little bit more in that kind of drive of the character's desires. Um, but yeah, but it's in that kind of vein. Uh, you know, if you're looking for something that you can just switch your brain off and read, then, then why not give Verity a go? Well, thank you very much for watching. I'm still making my way through uh, 1Q84, uh, but that will most likely be my next review. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks very much for watching and for the people who have subscribed thus far, that's really lovely of you, thank you very much, and yeah, see you on the next one.